Okay, I'm going to try to repair my uh, Ryobi 22-inch 18-volt hedge trimmer. Uh, it got jammed while I was trimming some hedges, and I kept on uh, trying to engage the um, throttle, and then finally a bunch of smoke started coming out of the vents here, so I think I, uh, I probably fried the motor, but I'm going to take it apart and see if I can't figure out what's wrong with it. Start disassembly by removing the nine screws with the number 15 Torx bit. There are five here that you can see, uh, two in each side of the black handle, which will be the hardest to remove because they have some Loctite on them, but a little bit of force and they'll come right out. Uh, there's one underneath the black handle after you remove the handle and one underneath the rotation sticker that you need to peel back and remove. Then once you've got those nine screws removed, you can pull off the case and uh, get access to the motor. Okay, so I disassembled the trimmer, and the blades were jammed, so you can't move the blades because of the gear ratio of the motor. But once you take it apart, I took just a little tool, and I was able to uh, move the fan of the motor just slightly to get the thing uh, rotating again. And then, uh, once that did, I tried to hook the battery up again, and... As you can see now, it works great. I actually thought I would have to replace the motor because all the smoke that was coming out of it, but when I moved it, it seems to be working fine now. So I'm going to reassemble it and uh, see how things work. Based on what I learned on this repair, if I had to do it again, uh, what I would do is just cut out three of these, uh, a few of these louvers here and just uh, stick a, a, a screwdriver or some kind of metal tool in there and just rotate the uh, fan motor by hand without doing any of this disassembly. Uh, of course, you always have to make sure that you uh, clear the, uh, the stoppage that, that made the blade uh, stop before you do that. Thanks for watching. Bye.